Developed and published by Konami, Bucky O'Hare is a unique single-player action platformer that was released in North America in January of 1992. The Righteous Indignation was attacked by Space Toads, and now Bucky is required to rescue each of his crew members stranded slash captive on various colored planets such as green, blue, red, and yellow. After doing so, Bucky and his crew need to venture to the Toad Mothership at the core and eventually make their escape. The gameplay of Bucky O'Hare is unique and lots of fun. As you rescue your crew members, you quickly realize that each member has their own special abilities to traverse through the levels, obtain unreachable items, or simply just made things easier. Bucky has a great straight shot and a high jump, Blinky shoots at an arc and has a jetpack to hover, Jenny has a charge attack that can be controlled, Deadeye shoots a spread shot and can climb walls, and Willy has the strongest shot slash charge of them all. However, I found myself using mostly Bucky and Blinky. The graphics of Bucky O'Hare are top notch for the 8-bit era, colorful, vibrant, engaging, and a sight to behold. The soundtrack is absolutely stunning. There's so many amazing tracks, honestly there's like 3 or 4 that could be in a top time NES list, just so good on every level. The controls are tight and responsive, you feel like you're in charge of your character and all of their abilities. Now the difficulty. Bucky O'Hare is hard as nails. Thankfully, if you have an Iron Will, you do have Infinite Continues, and not only that, but you always leave off on the stage in which you died. No shooting back to the beginning of the levels, or the beginning of the game. So in a way, even though it is difficult, it's merciful, and thank goodness that it is. There's also a password system in case you do need a break. The flow of the gameplay really just keeps you glued to the screen. Running and gunning, platforming, puzzle platforming, and even a shoot 'em up flying section. What more could you ask for in a Nintendo game? The downside? The game's expensive as shit, so unless you already own it, your best bet would probably be a power pack type solution or <gasps> emulation. Bucky O'Hare has everything that you want in an action platformer, period. If not for some segments of complete fuckery with difficulty, this could be an almost perfect game. No lie, I really enjoyed this one, and I highly recommend that you play it if you haven't already. I give Bucky O'Hare a 9.5 out of 10. This is truly one of the best NES games out there. Shoutouts to TL All Star 6, and until next time.